Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a chromatic transition effect in After Effects easily without using any plugins or paid presets. I use this effect in all of my edits, and many of you have been asking how I make it. I usually create this transition using one of my shakes from the AM Film Shakes pack. In a previous tutorial, I showed how I make it, but many of you wanted to know how to recreate the exact same transition used in my edits. So, let's get started. First scroll to the very end of your first clip. From that point, move 40 frames backward, then place your second clip above it so the two clips overlap by 40 frames. Now on the second layer, apply the gradient wipe effect. Set the transition softness to 20%. Then set the transition completion to 100% and click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Next scroll to the very end of your bottom clip and set the transition completion back to 0%. Press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes, then select them and press F9 to easy ease them. Next open the graph editor, right click inside it, choose edit speed graph, and adjust the curve to make it smooth, similar to mine. Let's quickly preview the result. It looks really smooth. Now scroll to the very beginning of the second clip and apply another effect, VR Chromatic Aberration. Set the fall off distance to 35, then click the stopwatch icons next to Aberration Red and Aberration Blue to add new keyframes. Scroll to the very end of your bottom clip again and set both Aberration Red and Aberration Blue values to zero. Press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes, select them, press F9 to easy ease, and then open the graph editor to create another smooth curve. Let's preview it once more. Now we're getting closer to the transition I use, just one last effect left. Make sure you're at the beginning of the second clip and apply the turbulent displace effect. Set the amount to 40, then click the stopwatch icons next to amount and evolution to add keyframes. Now move forward in the timeline and set the amount to 0 and the evolution to 1. Press U again to reveal those keyframes, then select the second turbulent displace keyframes and move them further down the timeline. This will make the turbulence effect last longer. Now let's check the final result, and we're done. That's the exact same transition I use in all of my edits. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.